hello you guys welcome back to another vlog i cannot believe that we are already at basically the end of january and we're already almost to february it's kind of crazy and with february there comes valentine's day galentine's day whatever you like to call it whether you're in a relationship single whatever it may be. I personally love the month of February with Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day. I think it is even more of an excuse to treat yourself, be kind to yourself, and do things that make you feel loved and appreciated because at the end of the day, the most important relationship is the one that you have with yourself. So whatever that looks like for you, whether it's going on a walk outside, taking a bath, doing a hair mask, face mask, taking yourself out to dinner, ordering yourself dinner. So whether you're spending that with a significant other, your girlfriends, or by yourself, I really hope you are taking the most care and being so kind and gentle and compassionate to yourself. Even with all this pressure that surrounds Valentine's Day, I really think it is what you make of it and how you treat yourself and how you treat others and the people that you love and care about. So I'm gonna be sharing a great Valentine's Day gift idea and that can be literally anyone. It doesn't have to just be some of your closest friends. It can be your mother, your sister, your mother-in-law, sister-in-law, grandmother, whoever it may be. These are such great gift ideas. So I want to thank Anna Luisa for partnering with me on today's video. I know you guys are going to absolutely love their pieces. So if you've never heard of Anna Luisa, it is a jewelry company. They sell a wide range of bracelets, necklaces, earrings, rings. I feel like you can find something truly for anyone on their site. I'm such a big jewelry girl. I have mentioned this before in my vlogs, but I truly think jewelry just can elevate any outfit and make it so unique to you so I'm gonna be sharing a few necklaces with you guys today these are like dainty necklaces that you can kind of layer with other pieces wear alone they're very much everyday necklaces which is what I love and I love layering different necklaces mixing and matching kind of makes it fun and very unique to you okay I think I'm gonna start off by sharing the two pieces that I have on right now they aren't sold together but I think they look really good layered together here are the necklaces so this first one is a 14 karat gold dipped chain with cubic zirconia gem in it. I think it looks so much more expensive than it is. By the way, all these pieces are under $100. It's a great deal and they're good pieces that last and I'll explain more of that in a little bit. And the one on the bottom is a chain that is dipped in fine gold with little gold balls all throughout it. I think they look so cute paired together. I love the layered look. So I flipped the necklaces to the back. You can see that they each come with multiple little loops so you can kind of make the necklaces longer or shorter depending on how you want to layer them or style them which I love. Last necklace that I have I'm not wearing it I just have it draped over is a lariat and I love how it's a little bit daintier of a lariat. I do have other lariats and they are a little bit more statement. This one is super dainty and very versatile because it is so dainty. You can truly wear it with anything. You can dress it down or dress it up, which I love. It is 14 karat gold dipped and it has cubic zirconia gems in it. And it has different loops so you can make it shorter or longer depending on the wear or style you want to go with. So those are the pieces that I got from Ana Luisa this time and I did want to mention that I do have some of their pieces. I have some necklaces and a pair of earrings and I purchased it last summer and I wore them all throughout my Bahamas trip in the sun, the salt water, the pool, in the sand with sunscreen on. With any jewelry piece, I'm sure it lasts much longer not wearing it in the salt water, in the pool, with sunscreen on, in the shower, but it's nice to know that these jewelry pieces can withstand that and still look just as new. So I did want to mention that because I have purchased their pieces in the past and I still have them to this day and wear them on a daily basis and they still look just as good. So I did want to mention that. Another thing that I have to share with you guys is I do have a discount code 
food with them so on top of the great price that you're getting for these pieces you can also get an additional 20% off with my coupon code it's Lauren Colvin 20 I'll put it on the screen and I'll also put all of the information in the description box down below go get your sister your best friend your mother your mother-in-law whatever whoever it may be something special this valentine's day season i hope you guys enjoyed this and definitely let me know if you guys end up picking something up but thank you again anna luisa for working with me in today's video okay i'm holding my camera because if i put it on my car mount my face looks red and if i put it on my little dash above my steering wheel my face looks red and i think it's from my sweatshirt so here's the only spot that my face doesn't look red so i think it's from my sweatshirt but i changed because i got some food on my other sweatshirt that i was wearing while i was cooking breakfast so i had to change and i threw on this even though this like isn't on my color wheel i talked about it in my last vlog that i took a like a color quiz and it told you what colors look best on you and it said that like red and orange and like yellow and colors like that don't look good at me at all and i really love red and i love orange too i think they're fun colors and i think red looks good on everyone but now that when i go like shopping for clothes or looking at clothes i'm conscious of the colors that supposedly look best on me so if you guys are interested in taking like the color wheel quiz i'll link it down below in this video again um but yeah i mentioned it in my last vlog and i just think it's funny but anyways i just got in my car because i'm heading to costco to just get one thing which is eggs because they're so much more affordable at costco than they are at the grocery store you can get 24 eggs organic eggs for 6.99 at costco and you can barely get 12 organic eggs for 6.99 at Publix so I'm gonna head over to Costco pick that up maybe something else but it's not gonna be like a huge Costco run we just really need eggs for breakfast we eat them every weekend so I'm gonna go do that and then head back maybe pick up lunch on my way back home but yep that's the errand that has to be run right now because I'm not paying double for 24 eggs at Publix Okay, here are the few items that I picked up from Costco. Not a big Costco haul, but I picked up a few things since I was already running in there for eggs, and it was a madhouse. So I got our eggs. This is what we get. We love these. These are so good. So I got these. Maybe we'll have them for dinner tomorrow or sometime during the week. Got more of these cauliflower pizza crust supreme pizzas. These are just really good to have in your fridge for like lunch or just something quick. And then we needed more cleaner and this pack of cleaner was like 9.99 and we usually buy the mrs myers and mrs myers is like six dollars for one of them and i figured this was just like a cheaper way and it's plant-based cleaning products so yeah pick this up as well that's the haul Just created a grocery list. Christian and I are about to go 
to the grocery store so I can get stuff to meal prep and stuff for dinners and just other little things. And then when we get back, I wanna share with you guys the two perfumes that I picked up from Dossier this month. I'm really excited about them and I'm really excited to share them with you guys because they would also be such a great Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day gift to someone in your life because they have women's and men's perfumes, unisex perfumes, they have it all. And I'm excited to share with you guys what I got. So I'll share those when I get back, but we're gonna head to the grocery store. Okay, we just got home from the grocery store. Here's a quick overview of some of the things that we got. We're gonna do burrito bowls for lunch meal prep this week. So we got stuff for that. Got some different guacs, tomatoes, onion, cheese, taco seasoning, cilantro. And I got these chips to go with mine. And then we also have rice already and then the ground beef and things like that to finish the bowl. And we got some more ingredients to make juices, green apple, cucumber, and then we also got these jars. I don't think you can really keep this style of juice long in the fridge. We're gonna try and keep it maybe 24 hours in the fridge. So we're gonna make a little bit extra juice for us to have tomorrow. So we got these because we don't have anything like this to keep the juice in the fridge. So I'm gonna put them all away. I'm gonna wash these in dishwasher really quick and then we'll probably do the juices later tonight. washer dryer the dishwasher there's football on the TV so I tried to come in here because there seems to be the least amount of noise going on in here so if you do hear any of the noise going on I'm sorry but I wanted to share with you guys the perfumes that I got from Dossier and I really do think this would be such a great gift idea especially for people who are perfume lovers you can get high-end perfumes at Dossier for a fraction of the cost and it has really allowed me to try so many different perfumes and I used to only wear perfumes on special occasions because honestly the bottle is so expensive so I never wanted to wear it and perfumes don't last like 10 years I think they go stale after four to five years so if you're only kind of using a perfume on a special occasion you may not use it that often and then it could go stale go bad whatever so i also think dossier is a good way to kind of like test out perfume scents on you as well because you are getting them for such an affordable price so if you do like the scent on you then i feel like it's more justifiable to go out and spend the money on a perfume so these are the two original scents that i got so i got the baccarat rouge dupe and i have the original bottle actually in my bathroom and it smells identical and I feel a little less guilty wearing this one more because it's not as expensive as the Baccarat Rouge bottle. And this is actually a unisex perfume. So Christian and I both wear this when we're like going out to dinner together or when we're going out with friends. We love wearing this perfume. So I highly recommend this because it is truly the exact same scent for like a fraction of the cost. And then I got the Le Labo um, Santal 33 perfume, and I love this perfume. I tried it last year, and it smells so unique and different, and I'm really glad that it was an option on the Dossier site because, like I mentioned, it's just a fraction of the cost. So these are the two that I got, and this time I got... So the first one that I picked up, I actually discovered through TikTok, and I don't know how I got to this side of TikTok, but it's the Narciso Rodriguez For Her 
perfume. So it smells very different. I don't think I would ever pick this perfume up. I didn't smell the original, so I can't necessarily compare, but apparently it's a popular fragrance in Paris. Apparently a lot of women wear it in Paris. And um, I heard of it like so many months ago and I saw that they had it available on their site. So I definitely wanted to pick it up and try it out. But how I would describe this perfume is very mature, kind of powdery and floral. That's how I would describe it. There's like rose, peach, jasmine, orange blossom. They describe it as, or they're labeling it as a musky rose perfume. Definitely smells just like that. It's just mature smelling to me. So I really do like it. It's not my top choice of perfume, but I'll be, I'll be testing it out wearing it on myself to see how I like how it wears. The next one I'm really excited about because my best friend Taylor actually wears the original version of this perfume and it smells incredible on her. So I had to pick it up. It's the Juliet Has a Gun Not a Perfume. And I had the little travel size version of this perfume and I wore it a couple weeks ago during the work week and I loved it. And then when I got to pick out perfumes this month from Dossier, I knew I had to pick it up because I really, really love it. I don't even know how to describe this perfume. Very fresh, kind of like a Chanel in a way. I, I don't know, here are the notes of it. It's probably one of my favorites and I'm so glad that I have a bottle of it. It smells absolutely incredible. So I highly recommend Dossier. It'd be a great gift for someone that maybe is a perfume lover, wants to try different scents. Maybe you have a specific perfume that's high end that you wanna get another one of that you don't wanna spend that big chunk of change on. Truly you can find something for everyone and there's also colognes on there and unisex scents on there so you can get one for your significant other, for Valentine's Day, birthday, whatever. I just think this is such a great gift idea and it's very affordable and you can get the exact same scent for a fraction of the cost. So I definitely wanted to share it with you guys because I've been loving having these and um, I've turned into such a perfume lover and spending money on the big bottle is just sometimes too much. So I love how you can get like the scent for very, very much less. So check it out. I'll link it down below. Okay, it's a lot later. It's after nine, it's 9.20, it's a late start to the meal prep, but I'm doing the meal prep right now. Christian's helping me and he's about to juice for me while I package up and finish prepping everything for lunches for the week. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do four juices. We're not gonna have any tonight. We're just gonna save it for tomorrow and hopefully it still stays good in the fridge for Tuesday morning as well. But we're doing two green apples, Granny Smith, two cucumbers, and then a ton of celery, and then one lemon. I just finished meal prep. I need to clean up so much stuff. But here are Christian's bowls and here are mine. I just added some cheese on top, put some Greek yogurt in here and then some salad and tomato or lettuce and tomato in here. And then I'm gonna put this chunky guacamole on top and this will be my lunch meal prep for the week. And then I'm putting together some grapes and my breakfast and all that stuff, but. Okay, just finished cleaning up everything. So glad that it's done and I'm so glad 
that I just got it done because it was 9 o'clock when we got home and I didn't really want to do it. I'm about to shower and I think I'm going to do a face mask. I'm switching up my skin cycling to three days instead of four. So I do skin cycling. I've been doing it for over six months now. I really like it and I think it's good for my skin. I think it works really well for me. But I just want to see how well it works if I do three days. So I do the AHA one night retinol one night and then just one night of active recovery so moisturizing instead of two i just really want to see how my skin reacts so i think tonight's aha i'm going to do is the blue algae vitamin c mask by algenist i don't do this mask often because it does take some time like I have to leave it on for 20 minutes so I don't always choose to do it another one of my favorites is the Osea sea glow overnight serum I use this most frequently I really love this stuff and I've been using it since August it's been really good and I also like the dr. Dennis gross AHA BHA peel pads those are really good but super pricey so I really like this and this has lasted pretty long I mean it's probably like around here I've used it since August and there's still product left and I use it two times a week depending on how the layout is but definitely once a week so I feel like it lasts a pretty long time so that's really good for the price in my opinion but tonight I'm gonna do the mask because I just want to do it I haven't done it in a while and I like to kind of switch things up sometimes with an AHA I also get my hair done this week, which it's been three months since I got my hair done. It doesn't look terrible, but yeah, I'm excited to have some fresh roots. I also wanted to give another shout out to Ana Luisa Jewelry. I haven't taken them off since I put them on. I really do love how they look layered, so definitely check them out. Don't forget to use my code. I'll put it on this screen right here, and I'll also put all the details in the description box. So don't forget to check it out. It would be a fantastic Valentine's Day gift or a Galentine's Day gift for someone close to you. So definitely check them out. But I'm going to go ahead and end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend of my life. Next weekend, I'll be prepping for my trip. I don't even know if I've mentioned where I'm going, but I'm going to Tulum for a bachelorette trip. So I'll be prepping next weekend for that, packing everything. I got a few outfits that are on the affordable side in the mail this past week for the trip and they're really cute. I'll share those pieces in my next vlog potentially and you'll definitely see them in the Tulum trip vlog because I will be vlogging the trip, so I'm really excited. But yeah, definitely subscribe so you don't miss future content. I'm going on a ton of trips coming up ton of weekend things, weddings. I'm going on a huge trip at the end of summer. It's just gonna be a really fun year. So definitely stick around and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys when I pick up the camera next weekend. Bye.